going on everyone rc propaganda here back with another video as you can see i got my 3d printer here on the bench and this thing is awesome now uh, i tried to do a live video unboxing it but it didn't go so well uh the well, i don't know what happened it froze up uh, but I got it all together. Um, I did make a quick time lapse of that So I will throw that up and you guys can just see the quick process it took to put this together Now I got this printer because I wanted some interior parts, but after the price to print everything I pretty much could just buy my own printer get the files and print it myself so I guess in this video that's what I'm going to show you guys what I want to do um, this is the test dog that I printed yesterday it took just over five hours but for my first print this thing came out really good you can see how smooth it is which is really good the lines aren't too bad this would take minimal sanding before you painted it uh, I am gonna paint this thing I'm gonna mess around with it I just want to learn how to paint uh, I did order some new filament and the color that I need for one of the things I want to try to make I got to try to design my own thing so stay tuned for that I'm gonna try to design something I'll show that stuff and if it comes out right I'd be able to sell that so now what I'm gonna print in this video is something I really like this idea and uh, Harley Designs brought something up where he said something about people respecting the files. Uh, I get that and that is something I will do. I'm not going to just go and give these files to anyone. Um, I might print some stuff out as giveaways if you guys are interested in that. Uh, I'm not going to sell someone else's stuff. Uh, I don't know all the legal ramifications for that but if I design something myself then obviously I know all about that I made it myself I don't have any moral issues with that um, that is one of the things with the 3d printing and there's a lot of free stuff open source things like that I really like that sort of thing but you know someone is designing these files that I'm gonna print up here and I'm not gonna just go ahead and give away all of their work um, this will be interior pieces for my Bronco uh, the first one I'm going to start out with is the shifter. I think I have enough filament left for that. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. I have more coming later. If I have to stop and then restart the print, I will. But uh, I'm going to do some RC things. And then there's some mods, like uh, just some things you can attach here to help keep your filament rolling smoother. It just pushes it out just to avoid things. There's a few free mods uh, this is the pro so some of the videos I watched I don't have those issues on this particular printer uh, the thing is really well built it's nice so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of show you guys right now what you have to do before you set up the print so I got the files on an SD card this is the one it came with I have the one I need in the printer already so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my printer on my filament's already loaded up nice and easy. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is level my bed. So I'm gonna go into my menu. I'm gonna go to prepare and go to auto home. So it's gonna move over there. I got my piece of paper here. And I'm gonna just try to level my bed up. So this thing is gonna come down. And once it comes down, I will turn it off. Okay, so now it's off and I can freely move my axis. So I'm just gonna bring my plate out. Alright, here we go. Attempt number three. I had to download a program and take the STL file and convert it to G code for the printer to read. Did not know that. I thought you just download files and print them. So there was another step there. Like I said, I'm learning a lot of this stuff. Now, no idea if this file will work, but I hit prepare. I saved it, made sure it said G code, put it in there, and it will come up on my screen. So I'm all preheated. I'm going to go to print from SD. Here it is. 
heat it. Okay, so it looks good. I think it just needs to heat. And once it gets hot, we shall see if it prints. It just says heating. Maybe when it gets hot enough, it will print. I hope that that's all I have to do because it was super simple with the program. I just dragged the STL file that I downloaded from my mini factory into the program. It's called, uh, I forget what the name is. I'll put a link in the description of <clears throat> the download. And then you just click on it, hit prepare. Okay, here we go. Well, all right. Looks like we're gonna be printing. Well, all right, first print of my shifter did not come out so good. Uh, not sure what was going on. It looked like this kind of, whoa, slid over a little bit and I'm not sure what was going on with this. So I am going to try a new one. I did get this red filament in. Don't know if that is going to make a difference but I will try it. This is just Amazon basic. I got another one, but this come via FedEx, not the postal service. So the black I have will come, but this is a quick print. So I wanna try, see what happens. I'm gonna let everything heat up again and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna switch out the filament right now um, and then see. So the print must go on. All right, we're on number two. I got everything going again. I got this red filament in. I changed the temperature on the nozzle and the bed to after some research. So we'll see how this goes. I don't really know. I'm just gonna keep testing it and we'll see. Uh, I wanna get this smaller print down before I move on to one of the bigger files. I'm trying to waste as little filament as possible, I guess. So this is number two is going. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. Well, all right, print number two, not too bad. Um, it looks okay. So now I have gone back and in the program, you could scale the model. So I scaled it up 50%. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger in hopes that it works a little bit better and maybe be a little bit stronger because the shift lever part, this part is super weak. Uh, oh, I don't know how long it will hold up. Now I know it's going to be glued in the interior, but just trying to paint it and the bottom doesn't look so good. So I'm going to clean this and re-level it and I am going to make another print. Alright guys, well uh, that's going to end my 3D printing for this video. Uh, uh, my goal was to just try to print this shift knob, show you guys a little bit, talk about my printer just a little bit. I got a lot to learn. I got a, a lot of stuff to do. I'm going to be busy. I just picked up a bunch of new parts. So I'm going to be shooting video for that. And I'm going to be 3D printing in between all that. So I'm going to go ahead, move this printer out onto another counter I have. And uh, just keep trying to print. I got all the interior pieces to do. This is the smallest piece. So I'm assuming that might be the reason. So. Uh, I'm going to just keep experimenting. I will put the other prints on Instagram. So tune over to the Instagram there and you'll be able to see some more of my other prints in action while I'm doing that. Uh, that's going to be it for this one, guys. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and stay tuned for more 3D printing. I'm out.